coming up in this video I've got my updated recipe for the porn star martini so this is updated uh, as of 2020 stay tuned hey drinks fans I am Steve the barman and I'm hoping these videos help you drink surf and enjoy your favorite spirits right then the porn star martini why am i doing another video because i've already got a video on this channel uh nearly twenty thousand views uh it's the most searched out video on my channel it's because i've had to update the recipe because of the sugar tax that came into uh into force into the uk a couple of years ago now sort of mid uh, 2018 so i have slightly changed out the recipe however uh the porn star martini recipe on on my channel is the most subscribed to video of the lot so i'm actually going to produce this is part one of at least a five part series into whether we can actually take the porn star martini to a whole different level so in the first video i'm going to show you my new recipe for 2020 and how i teach all my cocktail masterclasses and then we're going to deep dive into the best vanilla vodka uh, the best passion fruit puree the best vanilla syrup uh, and take it from there we're going to try and make the ultimate porn star martini in follow-up video so this video is all about my updated recipe and uh, we're going to make it in a martini glass so i just need to chill it down just whack some ice in there pop it to one side chill it down we're going to make this into our cocktail shaker give it a dampened shake the first ingredient we need now this is where i'm going because up until now i've always used plain normal vodka because in the uk despite the porn star martini being the most popular cocktail it's been really hard for you guys at home to get hold of a vanilla vodka so when i do my master classes hen parties and corporate events and all those kind of things i always use a plain vodka so uh I, this is part one i'm gonna as i say i'm gonna make this with plain vodka and then we're gonna go on a whole little journey to see whether we can make it any better first ingredient 50 ml double bubble of vanilla of uh, plain vodka the second ingredient we've got is pessoa such a lovely uh, lovely lovely liqueur passion fruit liqueur uh, 17 percent i can never remember 17 percent abv every single supermarket will have it in the uk purely because of the porn star martini 25 ml it's my recipe now the next ingredient we want is some vanilla sugar syrup now funkin has been a brand that i've used for at least the last two if not three to four years quite cheap to get hold of uh, and this is going to be video three i think that i'm going to do in this series i'm actually going to compare four or five different vanilla syrups to see whether there is actually any difference but funkin is the brand i've used now my updated recipe used to be half a shot but now it's a virtually a full shot 20 ml of vanilla syrup now the fourth ingredient is lime you could when i do it on cocktail master glasses i do it with fresh lime and i kind of quarter my lime so i have a, about a quarter of a wedge of lime but i've got some lime juice here because i've been making daiquiris so uh, i'm just going 15 ml of lime juice now here's where my recipe takes on a slightly different twist now because as i mentioned the sugar tax came in 2018 that's been less sweet it's half now with half the sugar the taste has slightly been stripped away so now i'm back to adding a uh, passion fruit puree into the mix uh, now this was doug's original recipe when he invented this way back 2003 five whenever it was uh, it was 100 percent passion fruit puree openly and middly i'll be honest i don't like the original recipe i think it's too thick too gloopy uh, and especially when i do my cocktail master classes they absolutely love the fact that we've got juice in there just makes it a little bit thinner but i think now you do need a bit of puree uh, that is just a funkin passion fruit puree it's been my go-to but this is going to be the third video that we go fourth video that we're going to do i've got four different passion fruit purees that i'm going to uh, play off against each other to see whether the passion fruit puree makes any difference as well but for now this is my tried and tested 
Going Funkin Passion Fruit Puree, 25 ml. And then the final ingredient we're going for is our good old favorite Rubicon juice. But for the size of the glasses, uh, I'm now using 50 ml of juice instead of the full 75 ml. Uh, so we're going 50 ml of Rubicon Passion Fruit juice. Now we just need to shake our cocktail down. So add, uh, fill your glass, uh, your shaker up with ice. Pop the tin on and we're just going to hard and fast shake for about 12, 13 seconds, all right? When you're happy, that's nice and chilled down. Get rid of your ice out of your martini glass. That should be nice and chilled as well. And now we're just going to double strain this. I call this on my head, on my on my masterclass, I call this the Krypton Factor Challenge because it confuses the hell out of a lot of people. It's really funny. Uh, we're just going to so double strain it, single strain with the Hawthorne, Hawthorne strainer, spring side down, hold that in one hand, and we're just going to double strain through our tea strainer. And then just to garnish, I've just got a nice kind of quarter, I only use a quarter uh, of passion fruit, and just pop that in on top. And you can see it's kind of, if you've shaken it hard enough, you've got that nice white frothy crema on top there. It's now got that thickness because of the puree um, that the juice hasn't got these days. So I think you definitely do need that puree in there now. But that is my tried and tested porn star martini. I've been rocking that recipe out now for about a year uh, because of the sugar tax. Um, for me, I've seen bars, people do it with pineapple juice. It is not the essential. The, yes, this is not correct to Doug's original recipe, but the whole porn star martini is a vanilla and passion fruit martini. Don't go messing around with pineapple juice or apple juice or anything like that. It is passion fruit, passion fruit and vanilla. And that's what it should be. So that is my go-to recipe. I've... God knows how many hen parties and corporate events now have tried and absolutely love this. In the next uh, video, I'm going to be seeing whether I can make this any better. And I've got, I've lost count. One, two, three, four, five. I've got a load of different vanilla vodkas that we're going to see whether that makes any difference to the finished recipe.